We are experiencing a crime wave seldom seen in previous times in America. Murders are up. ABC News notes that at least 12 major U.S. cities broke annual homicide records in 2021. One police captain, that of Rochester, New York, said it's worse than a war zone around here lately. And we've also seen many businesses hit with a rash of smash and grab robberies across the country. Yet Chicago Mayor Lori Lightfoot apparently blames the company's hit, saying, I'm disappointed that they're not doing more to take safety and make it a priority. What's going on? An incessant call for defunding the police is taking its toll. Meanwhile, what we have is largely crime and no punishment. Leftist prosecutors, district attorneys, and judges are letting many criminals go with a slap on the wrist, if that. Rabbi Daniel Lappin, founder of the American Alliance of Jews and Christians, said of the revolutionaries egging on this kind of crime by doling out no punishment, quote, it's always been the fervent desire of those who understand that in order to rebuild society, you first of all have to destroy what is, end quote. This is bad anthropology run amok. Biblical anthropology asserts that man is sinful and crimes need to be punished. Bad anthropology, like that espoused by the Marxists, asserts that man is basically good, but society is bad and needs to be torn down and then remade along Marxist terms, which, by the way, fails every time. And we all suffer, especially the poorest among us, who lack stronger security measures. The founders of America showed a better way to live in a controlled society with liberty under the rule of law. How much better that is than the chaos that so many leftist elitists try to unleash on the rest of us. For D. James Kennedy Ministries, I'm Jerry Newcomb.